Are you sitting comfortably? Mm. <laughs> 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 then I'll begin. Andy Pandy, Bill and Ben, picture book. All names that conjure up a feeling of comfort and nostalgia for people of uncertain arch. <laughs> but even this age of innocence held hints of the drug fuel to realism the 60s and 70s would bring. Did it? Oh, Bill and Ben. Two men, made out of flower pots, dribbling unintelligibly, and with their pal, Little Wee. <laughs> well, I never thought of that. <laughs> ah, but then came the masters of the genre. The eccentric Oliver Postgate and Peter Furman. Yep, and all their characters, the Nordic sagas of Noggin the Nog, shenanigans and the valleys with I4, the engine, bad posts, Yes, but by the 1980s, there was a growing need for children's drama that reflected the gritty realism of that decade. Grange Hill brought us Bazzano's <laughs> descent into drug addiction and death by overdose. Just say no, kids. <laughs> a biker grove tackled teen pregnancy and disability. He's blind! Spooky man, he can't see! <laughs> <laughs> and permanent postcard, they gave us Totty, the story of a doll's house. A doll's house? Well, that's that gritty and realistic. Did you see it? Mm. Oh, it was incredible. The power struggle between Totty and Birdie and Nasty March Paley. Male characters too young and ineffectual to interfere. Final death with Birdie as she's killed in a fire by March Paley. I can still see her poor melting face. I didn't sleep for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that great legacy of children's programming continues to this very day with one of the longest running shows, certainly in the UK and probably the world. Oh, I oh, do... Blue Peter! Blue Peter? Um, well, yeah, you're right. Has been running forever. Um, oh, anyone here have a Blue Peter badge? Anyone? Oh, I see a hand going up at the back. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> yeah, I always wanted one. <laughs> Not even a gold one, a blue and white one would have done. I sent those cards a card, you know. <laughs> hand drawn it was, in French. <laughs> Bloody badge. I never got so much as a crackerjack pencil. Crackerjack! <laughs> 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 the children's show I was referring to is Doctor Who. Doctor Who's not a children's show. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, it's not. It is the longest running science fiction show in television history. It says so in the Guinness Book of Records. Yes, but it's also a children's show. It's on a tea time. It has funny farting aliens and a strict policy of non-violent violence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think you're the target market for a Doctor Who lunchbox, do you? Look, I'm not denying that children seem to enjoy it, but it's not afraid to tackle the topical issues of the day. The Daleks, eugenics and racism, the green death, environmental issues, adipose, the obesity epidemic, a children's programme. I think not. All right, all right, I stand corrected. It is a gritty, hard-hitting, issues-based drama and not a children's show at all. Thank you. In any case, we are getting a bit sidetracked here. We are in the 50s. Doctor Who didn't start till 63. Oh.